Greetings everyone, this is D22 with you today from the main channel and today we're going to teach you how to use Handbrake. Now this is a video condensing software which allows you to compress video files into a smaller format. So what we're going to do is we're going to open up Handbrake now and then we are going to find out the features of Handbrake. So let's say you made a gaming video that's like about a gig in size and you want to shorten the length of the file so that you can allow for smaller uploads. So here's what you do. What you do here is you go into your user interface and then you click what's called source and then you go to file. And then let's say you have a video file that is about a gig in size. Now I don't really have any files that are our gig in size to show you an example. So a one way to view if you have a high file size video is if you have Windows 10 you right click in the menu and you click view and then you click and then see details. Now the details will show you the name of the file, the date, the type, and the size. So our biggest file in this is the 160 megabyte video. So we're going to choose that. Go click and then open and then what will happen is that it will scan the file and it will show the duration and you can also choose a destination where you want to save it so to resize your video what you do is you go to where it says picture make sure that the size is correct anamorphic you can choose loose strict or none or you can customize however you like so this setting is usually left alone but then what you can also do is you can set the cropping to automatic or you can go custom and then set the parameters of the crop but normally if you just but normally if you're decreasing a file size it would just be set to automatic the next setting is filters you can deinterlace the filters or decom the filters however you like this setting is usually left to off you can also denoise it and you can choose any of these means. Denoising meaning getting rid of like noise or little grits in the film and then deblocking as well. These, these settings are usually left alone so you don't really have to do this but it is an option. The video tab you click on, this is the important one because this will allow you to set your video codec parameters. So then what you can do is you can select the codec from these lists from H.264, this is usually what everybody uses up to 2.65 or MPEG-2 or MPEG-4 or the Intel QSV 2.64 codec and then you can also set the frame rate to certain frames from 5 to 60 frames. Usually if you have gaming footage that is in 60 frames you would have to go either same as source or select 60 frames and then what you can do is you can go optimize video and you can use the preset to tune it and then you can go film, animation, grain, still image. You can set any preference here depending on what you have. Then you can go fast decode if you like. And then if you hover over the options, it tells you what to do. So the it basically says here reduce decoder CPU usage and the tip goes away right away. So set this if your device is struggling to play the output, dropped frames. And then you can go for the profile, either main, auto, baseline, or high level is 4. Now these options you don't really have to worry about but what you do is you can also set the quality to either 20 or you can use the slider all the way up or all the way down. What it says here is 0RF is lossless so we're gonna go back and set it to 25. Normally this is not the normal process but however you like. I mean usually we just leave that then you can set average kilobit rate if you like, kbps. What we can also do for the optimized video is you can click the advanced tab and then the advanced tab will pop up. Now if you unclick that the advanced tab will disappear. So then what we'll do is we'll leave that clicked and then you can set audio to whatever you like. So you can add an audio track to the video if, if, if say there's no audio and you want to add like a voice recording or something. So what you can do is you can click add track and then you can add new track, remaining tracks, or selected languages. And then you can clear the tracks as well. So you can go clear. And then you can add subtitles. So you can import SRT files to your video if you want to add subtitles to it. Then you can add a subtitle track depending on what video you have. Like if it's a foreign video, then you can set it up. And then you can press delete to delete it. And then what you can do is you can go to chapters and set chapter markers so that when you import the file, 
and burn it onto a DVD. There's like certain chapters that you can go to and it will allow you to set chapters. And then when you have advanced checked, this will allow you to do an encoding and analysis procedure. So for reference frames, this is usually left to default unless you are condensing the file to a smaller size. Now, this is important if you want to make sure your video does not lose its quality and does not get any bigger than it should because I've seen in other videos where they've had one gig files and they reduce the size down to 500 megabytes. Now that is much better than having a one gig upload. So this is the software that you use if you want to shorten your files. And then you can select the template web optimized or iPod 5G support, but you can also stick it in another container. The container usually is MP4 or MKV. MP4 is what I normally use. So then when you've set all your settings, let's say you've done everything, you go to browse and then you save the file type as test render or test compression. And then you select a folder that allows you to save it in. And then you click save and then it enters the destination into the bar and then what it will do is it'll have you preview the video and it'll start the preview and then you normally uses the system default player so we're not going to do that right now and then an activity log shows you all your device information so it has all the settings here that allows you to take a look at what your computer is like what your RAM is and so forth and so forth and then it has show queue where you can show the queue of the jobs so you can close that and then there's presets that you can set like right here the presets here are universal iPod iPad Apple TV Android Windows 8 normal or high profile if you want a higher profile so then after you've done everything let's say you have finished it you just click start and then what it'll do is that it'll prepare to encode the software and then you see your percentage right down here so once it goes from zero to one hundred percent that means everything will be finished and then you can see a difference in file size so once you've done this let's say we're just gonna pause this right now and we're gonna wait till this finishes okay so it should say here Q finished when it's done and then what we do is we will go into our folder where we saved it so let's say it's videos and then what we do is we look at test compression and then the file size is 18 megabytes now that is cool now we didn't really adjust anything too much we just had to set the parameters properly but look at this 160 megabytes and the quality is still perfect let's just double click this to play it I mean look at that the quality is still there there's no difference in there's no difference at all I mean the quality is still the same as my 160 megabyte upload so if we double click that then we open that up hey what's up everyone out there this is D20 it's pretty much the same same quality same audio lower file size now if you watch this video and you saw what I put in I put in a hundred and sixty megabyte file to 18 megabytes still the same length still the same quality but it's a whole lot smaller this is a lot better than the free make video converter I mean I use that for quicker uploads because I don't want to rack up internet usage but this is a greater software to use Handbrake definitely is one of those softwares where it really condenses your file size down to a certain point. Now, it all depends on the length of videos that you do. Let's say you do like uh, top 10 lists or videos that are hours long and you don't know what to do when it comes to decreasing the file size. But I recommend Handbrake as definitely one of the best programs to use. Thanks so much for watching this, everybody. I hope you have a wonderful day and take care.